applying what one person has done to an entire group of people isn't really fair. Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. Ouch. I've got a torn labrum. That was a little less than desirable feeling. Whew. On this channel, we upload one beautifully edited cinematic masterpiece a week, even if we missed last week. This video is uncut. And yes, I know that last Saturday's video was also an uncut video. I usually put the uncut videos on Wednesday. Just the Tinley Park show was so busy that I only had a chance to film one video for, for this channel, even though I filmed like eight for the Red Line Report and a few videos for actually only, dang, was there only one video for the Freedom Breeder channel? I think it was just one with Kevin McCurley. Dang it. It was busy. I don't think I will fly out on a Sunday again from a show. And I feel like I've said that before. I'm saying it again now, so I'll watch this back, even though it's not edited when I color grade it, I'll remember. Oh yeah, don't try to fly out on a Sunday from a show. It's too busy. That's too insane. Don't do it to yourself. And yet I digress. Uh, the only thing I can think about when it comes to filming a video for this week is the video that I filmed with Clint in Utah a couple weeks back. And that video was titled something along the lines of, I trapped him in the backseat of the car and questioned his faith, which was pretty much what happened. Um, and what we talked about in that video was basically how I was encouraged by, by Clint um, you know, speaking about his faith in God on his videos. And, of course, the comment section was interesting, to say the least. And it, it usually is in topics like that. Um, I was talking to Dave... Kaufman a little bit about it. He's like, yeah, you know, religion, politics, you're going to get that split, which I understand. Um, the one, one thing that really blows my mind sometimes are the, the comments that are like, you can believe what you want, just don't share it or don't talk about it. You know, you can believe that, just don't talk about it. And it's just funny, a comment like that is still, it's just doing the exact way that you're talking about what you believe. It's, I always find that mildly hilarious and uh, entertaining those kind of comments uh, so keep them coming because <laughs> they crack me up every time like, you shouldn't tell people what to believe <laughs> <laughs> i do i do find those comments super hilarious um and yet in that video we didn't even do that we just spoke about the fact that we do both have faith in god and and i personally i never want to force that on anybody i will talk about it um, because that's what I'm called to do. So it would be like telling me not to, I don't know, drink water at this point. But I never, I never want to force anything on anybody or, or, you know, because so that, that, I don't think that works. First of all, I know people who have been hurt by religion trying to be forced on them. I know that that is not the way to successfully do that. I see people who do street preaching and stuff, and I, I have a lot of uh, respect for those folks because it takes a lot to go out there on the street. And I see some of the abuse some of these guys put up with, which they do in a very, the ones I've watched at least, in, in a very uh, humble and like patient fashion. I I would love to have that much patience as some of these guys I see out there on the street. Um, and yeah, the, yeah, the other thing that happens in the comments is like talking about. Christian, not just in the comments, but just in general, is is talking about the idea of uh, Christians do this or Christians do that, when some do, and I can't help but think about the fact that applying what one person has done to an entire group of people isn't really fair, and that goes for any type of thing. It's 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 a problem that exists with people across all different types of people in all different situations you know just because one white person said something racist doesn't make all white people racist or any person of any color for that matter uh just because one man did something totally misogynist and you know very very sexist doesn't make all men like that and and the list goes on and on right with those type of things and the same thing goes for christianity and christians i i think there's a lot of folks that maybe have the right 
uh, heart and idea in doing something, but then go about it the wrong way, which is something I was just praying about before I started this video was this odd, this odd um, paradox to be in where I myself am far from perfect person, still have so many things that God is working out in me um, that are that are shortcomings of mine, that are stumbling blocks of my own, things that keep me f falling short of the glory of God every single day. And, um, and yet I'm called to share the light of a perfect God who is without blemish and how that is at times seems near impossible because of everything I just said. And yet I'm called to do it. So I'm encouraged by the conversations I got to have at Tinley, got to have at Tinley. I'm encouraged by the different people who, like we, we were holding, we held church, um, and we have been at the reptile shows on Sunday mornings. In Tinley in particular, it's in the hallway. Everybody's always invited. We talked about moving into a room, but I think we will keep it out in the hallway so that anybody who comes by is welcome to come and sit. And um, really the, the ultimate goal of those is to, well, the ultimate goal of me even talking right now is to, Probably encourage others. That's that's really it, and and to share the word that I've come to learn. I didn't grow up going to church. I didn't. I've have very skeptical view of religion. Still do. By the way, I know that sounds a little crazy. Maybe based on the content I've been talking about for the past six and a half minutes, and yet I do. I'm super skeptical of religion. Um, I I don't like religion I don't I just believe in the grace that was set upon me when Jesus Christ went to the cross willingly as God and gave his life to die for the imperfections of humanity so that we could be covered in his grace and be seen without blemish when we see the face of God, um, that he sees Jesus, not us. Mind blowing. Uh, and I'll continue to share about that for, I imagine, as long as I'm alive, though I can't see the future. And the way that my life has changed in the past three years, I couldn't imagine doing anything other than sharing the way that I share here now. Um, and I just pray that I'm always sharing in a way that is reflecting well on what it is that I claim to believe. Um, and it's been, again, really cool to see the good things that have come from it, even though it is very much a struggle at times. I had Again, still lots of apprehension just to pick up the camera and talk on this subject because of um, because I know it can be something hard for people to hear at times um, because of the pain that religion has caused in people's lives or the people claiming to follow religion have caused to people, more likely the case. Um, and yeah, I, I just I just have a heart for anybody out there that feels anger at the words that I speak today and I pray for you folks I pray for you um, that you would hear the words I'm saying is something that is coming from a person who cares very deeply for every person out there that's watching this video and wants nothing but the best for those of you who are watching this video and that is solely the heart of that is solely the motivation behind my heart in sharing any of the things I've said today um, so I thank you for listening. I will share with you. I know I also don't vlog on this channel hardly ever anymore. We just do a lot of reptile video shows, which I love. I love doing those videos. I'm bummed I didn't get to do a man on the street style walking around the Tinley Park show. I really wanted to do that. And here's my dog. He is no longer uh, capable of having babies. Let's just say, let's just say that he's on a little bit of medication to ease the pain. Um, Breeder recommended that we wait at least two years before doing this. So we waited three. Um, and he's just kind of chilling now. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be 
slightly more rambunctious, though maybe not quite as rambunctious as he has been as a puppy. Oh, you know, I know, buddy. It's going to be okay, bud. Don't worry, maybe I'll join you there with that Cohen one of these days. <laughs> My wife has her her way. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been a fun ride so far. And I appreciate all you guys that are that are still here from the old days and are from the new folks that have come in. I appreciate all of you. I've got a baby asleep in the car right now. I thought that my talking might wake him up because, yes, I do have all of the cars doors and trunk and everything open because I'm not a complete moron who would leave his kid in a closed car while he's sleeping. Um, that way I can also hear him. I, maybe we'll go poke out on him and do a little update before this video is over. Just because, like I said, I don't hardly vlog on this channel anymore. I would love to get back to a place where I have enough time to maybe do a Music Monday again and record some songs. I did, in fact, record a song for uh, a youth group, with this little guy named Toasty who's kind of a little guy that has been playing. <laughs> I'm waiting to get this the track back from a brother that I met in Tinley. He's actually, I think, going to mess with the audio a little bit um, and and see, shout out to you, my friend, uh, and see if he's going to make the audio sound better than I can because I, I did record the song and all the parts and the singing and the guitar and all, all that and the drums, but uh, my audio mixing capabilities are that of a complete amateur, so... It might not have turned out so well when you listen to it, but there is a music video being made for right now, so maybe I will share that with you guys when it's time. Um, even if it's just a short one and a half minute clip. Here's a sleepy boy right here. Hey, sleepy guy. He's sleeping. He conked out. You know, sleepy boy. Oh, I will let him rest and hopefully not break my camera on the way back up the stairs. Getting ready to do some spring cleaning, even though it's <laughs> fall. So that's that's kind of that sums up right there, just kind of how busy it's been. Spring cleaning taking place when summer is over. That is what's happening for me in the next little while. But thank you guys for tuning in for the video. As always, uh, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next one. Aloha.